humans are a living system, teeming with more life than on land. Every organism has a role to play in the dance that is life beneath the surface. To help us get a better picture of this living land below, we're going to visit Whirpwee's Aquarium of Canada here in Toronto to see and learn about some of the wildlife found in our oceans. Let's go! I love the aquarium! Welcome to Ripley's Aquarium of Canada. My name is Xander. I'm one of the aquarists here. What is an aquarist? It's basically a very wet zookeeper. And my job is to take care of the Amazon animals here. That includes our electric eel around the corner, <laughs> our freshwater rays down there, and my babies in here, the red-bellied piranhas. Now that piranha's name is Teresa, and so is that one, and 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 that one. Long story short, they are all named Teresa because they are named after a friend of mine who's got a really short round body. Body looks really mean once you get to know her. But once you get to know her, she's actually a big sweetheart. And that's exactly what my piranhas are like. Now what do you think would happen if I stuck my hand in there? What do you think would happen? They'd bite you. They would bite you? Would you like to find out? Let's yeah. find out. <laughs> swam away and that is because my piranhas are big scaredy cats and they hate eating things that are alive. Well so do I. If a cheeseburger was trying to run away from me I wouldn't want to eat that. So what you're gonna see is I'm gonna be tossing in a couple of dead fish in there and at first my piranhas are gonna be like hey did, what is that? Is that food? Hey Teresa go check it out. One of my Teresas is gonna be brave take a bite out of it and it's like hey this tastes pretty good. Let's swarm. <laughs> Then they're going to start chewing on those fish. They'll have it into bones in about five minutes or so. After I drop the fish in, I'll come right back out here to answer any questions oh, that you guys may have. not fear. Is there different kinds of piranhas? There are a lot yeah. of different kinds of piranhas. There are over a hundred and a lot of them are actually vegetarians. They 
just don't like to talk about those ones because they don't make movies about them. How many teeth does a piranha have? How many teeth does a piranha have? That is a great question. Believe it or not, if you press this button right here, you can see what a piranha skull looks like. And you can count the amount of teeth that they have here. I count about 30 or so, and they are exactly like a shark. When one comes back, when one, they lose one, one will grow back very, very quickly. Look, Joey! falls in the same species as octopus and squids, known as cephalopods. Here at the aquarium, they have a whole bunch of different species of rays. There are spotted eagle rays, cow nose rays, also white river rays, southern stingray, and rough tail rays. Let's watch some of the demonstration. is so strong that it can kill a human. Even after a ray dies, the stinger can still contain deadly poison. There are over 100 types of rays in the ocean. Thanks to their unique way of eating, large bottom dwelling rays, such as stingrays, cow nose rays, or whiptail rays, act as habitat engineers. Covering over sandy areas, they excavate the sand in search of food while simultaneously creating microhabitats of various tiny invertebrates. The bonehead shark kind of looks like a hammerhead, but it is one of the only species of shark that is omnivorous, meaning it eats both plants and animals. hard-shell marine turtle in the world and can grow to 5 feet and weigh up to 500 pounds. Sea turtles are reptiles whose ancestors took to the sea about 150 million years ago. They are one of the few species so ancient that they watched the dinosaurs evolve and become extinct. Unlike most sea turtles, adult green sea turtles are herbivorous, feeding on seagrass and algae. Juveniles, however, also eat invertebrates like crabs, jellyfish, and sponges. Wasn't that cool to see all those creatures? 
As I mentioned before, when talking about the Arctic Ocean, there are changes happening around the world in relation to our oceans. Let's now explore how the oceans affect our climate and how a man-made impact is affecting them.